Hi, it's Lindley Oz, and I have a quick news update. I just saw this. It was posted today, February the 2nd of 2019. It says that Pope Francis is heading to the UAE for a historic meeting. What he's doing is he's meeting with the religious leaders and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Ahmed el Tayeb which is part of UAE's Year of Tolerance, supporting interfaith dialogue. So this is an interfaith meeting, okay? So this is a big historical interfaith meeting with the Muslims, and he's promoting religious freedom and interfaith relations. And this whole trip he's making to the United Arab Emirates on Sunday is to highlight coexistence and the religious freedom and the interfaith relations. The Bible tells us that in the end times, there will be a one world religion. So that is where we're heading. We've already got Chrislam. And then this is the whole interfaith where you unite all religions. Chrislam is uniting Christians and Muslims under the pretense that Christians and Muslims both worship the same Jesus. And that is a heresy and a lie. Muslims do not worship the same Jesus. They will tell you they do, but they do not. There are many differences. One of the big ones is they believe Jesus was a prophet. And when he was on the cross, God felt sorry for him, removed him and replaced him with someone else. So there's one big difference right there. So this whole interfaith thing is huge. And let me just tell you this as well. There are many implications prophetically speaking, many things that could result from this type of thing, such as a peace agreement. Now, there are many opinions on the peace agreement, okay? And I'm not going to get into all that. However, this could result in a peace agreement, which would reveal the Antichrist, and I believe wholeheartedly we're just standing right on the edge of greater things and of the tribulation. So this is huge. And we know Pope Francis and you've got Rick Warren and Kenneth Copeland and others who are all part of this, promoting it. So you got to be really, really careful nowadays of who you're listening to. Some of the things that are being taught are done so in such a sly way. Remember, Satan can appear as an angel of light. So it's taught in such a way that it is moving. It sounds loving. My friends, the Jesus that is being taught today in many churches and by many of these televangelists is not the Jesus of the Holy Bible. It is a different Jesus, a different gospel. We are warned in the Bible of this. Be watchful, be weary, be on guard. You need to know what's happening and to be ready and to be very, very careful what you're doing in this hour, my friends, because as I said, we're standing right on the verge of such greater things and we're seeing these things happen. Look at how many people idolize the Pope as if he's God. It's sickening. And I'll get tons of emails from Catholics persecuting me for saying that. I get called a Catholic hater or that I'm attacking Catholics. I do not hate Catholics. I have friends that are Catholics. I have many Catholics that I love. I don't have anything against Catholics. I do have something, however, against religion. Religion is not of God. I am non-denominational. I believe in the truth of God's word and believe in the Holy Bible as authoritative, as the authoritative word of God. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit, salvation. Jesus died on the cross and was rose again. I believe in the Holy Trinity. So I believe wholeheartedly, but I don't call myself by any religious name. I'm just a Jesus believing, Bible believing, Holy Spirit filled Christian woman. That's what I am. Religion is a spirit and it's not a good one. In fact, the word religion comes from the Latin root word. Uh, I don't have it in front of me. I think it's religos or religio, 
which means to tie or to bind. Well, I don't want to be bound up, nor do I want to be tied down to something. Sounds like rigidity. I want to be free in the spirit and to the life of Jesus Christ that I pursue to follow after in his footsteps. I don't want to be in bondage to religion. I think we're all bound up enough. We need some Holy Spirit filled x lax is what many of us need so that we can get rid of our spiritual constipation. Sounds funny, but how true it is. Give us all a dose of spiritual x lax because many of us need it. So everyone out there, open your eyes, get your hearts right. Let's not sleep during this hour, but be awake. Be watchful. We are in the end times. This is going to be a big thing. As I said, they're calling it historical. Pope Francis heading to the UAE for historic meeting in order to really work on this whole coexistence, religious freedom, and interfaith movement. So keep your eyes open. Get your hearts right with the Lord. Also, I want to mention something personally for me. Please pray for this ministry. I have lost all of my sponsors now, so I am now 100% viewer supported because my videos are not getting enough views. I've had numerous people writing to me as of late asking me, how come I haven't uploaded any videos in months? Well, I have. Come to find out they're being unsubscribed from me. My views are being hindered. I really need your help. I need you to share these videos. And if you feel led to support this ministry and give to this ministry, please do. You can do so via my PayPal or my PO box check or money order. I'm very sorry for mentioning that. I receive a lot of criticism for it. However, this is a full-time job and without your support, I cannot do this. So I'm dependent on you guys to help share the videos and for financial support. I'm very sorry, but I am. So I just found out today that I've Noble Gold was my last sponsor. Um, they're unable to sponsor me, you know, not because they have anything against me. I love the people in Noble Gold, but my videos are not getting enough views. So please help out. I appreciate it and pray for this ministry. If you're unable to help, with any financial support, at least share the videos and get the message out and pray for me and my family in this ministry. God bless you. Get your hearts right with the Lord. Time is very, very short. Thank you so much.